Hi everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about city inspections for apartments. So I look like shit at, because numerous things. Okay, first, I a couple weeks ago, I found out that a close family friend of mine passed away. Um, they uh, were having a fundraiser for um, and raffle tickets that you could buy and stuff like that and donate money to help them pay for his funeral then I um, They're gonna have his funeral services later um, Then I got news this morning that one of my cl really close friends has liver failure and Has been in the hospital the past week, but yet has not got a hold of me until today so I will be going to visit them on Wednesday, um, which today is Tuesday. So tomorrow evening I will be going to visit them. But um, back to what I was going to talk to you guys about um, is uh, I look like shit because of that. And because I'm a tired mom and we have been doing nothing but cleaning and getting our apartment up to par because lo and behold, there's a fucking city inspection going on, which is absolutely insane to me in all my years I've ever lived in an apartment I have never in my life had the city um, enter my apartment to look to see if um, we're cleaning our apartment and stuff like that that's fucking weird who doesn't clean their their apartment or their home if you don't you're you're disgusting but I will read to you guys the email that we received the other day so yeah, I had a friend die, had a friend contact me about liver failure, and then got an email that there's a city inspection with the landlords that are going to come in to not only our apartment, but our whole apartment complex to check to see all of the 10 things I'm about to tell you guys listed. So, here's the email we got. Your home has been scheduled by the city of blank, I'm not going to tell you guys the city, um, housing department for a regular inspection Wednesday, October 19, 2022, beginning at 1.30 p.m. City housing code requires all rent rental property in, and it says a city, again, I'm not going to say that, to be routinely inspected. The inspector will be inspecting the interior and exterior of the building overall and will be entering the house. A member of our staff will always accompany the inspector. Please contain or restrict your pets if needed. The city is mainly inspecting the condition of the rental property overall, but keep in mind that the resident can be cited for, and cited, for those of you who don't know what that means, it means we could get a ticket, we can be fined, um, we could owe money if, and then it goes on to, to list. Number one, improper or unsafe use of, instinct, of instinction cords please use power strips. Number two, excessive grease on the ground or around the stove. Number three, stacks of papers or sacks. Number four, empty bottles or cans. Number five, clutter or storage items around the apartment. Number six, smoke alarm and CO2 alarm not operational. There will be a $10 charge for every smoke CO2 alarm that is not up, to, and, up and working. Number seven, poor housekeeping. Number eight, clogged furnace filter. This is the tenant's responsibility. Number nine, failure to report plumbing, electrical, or structural problems. Number 10, combustibles or items stored around the furnace or water heater. Thank you for your cooperation in this manner. Sincerely, and then it says our landlord, but I'm not going to say that. So. I have something to say about a couple of these things. Okay, number one, improper or unsafe use of extension cords. I can understand that one because that's that's having to do with the safety. They don't want fire starting and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, what's kind of funny is we literally live right next door to, to a fire station. <laughs> so, okay, number number two excess grease or around the stove again i understand that that one is probably more than likely no it is definitely um having to do with fire safety and making sure that there isn't a fire caused by grease 
like a grease fire. But again, we live right next door to a fire station. So, and again, that's nasty if you're not cleaning your stove. Um, and what are we like 10 years old, not knowing we have to be told to clean our stove. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. Um, so, uh, our stove should already be clean and we shouldn't have excess grease on there to begin with. We shouldn't have to be told. Okay, number three, stacks of papers. So, stacks of papers, I can understand too because it can start a fire if you have lots of papers and for some reason if you smoke in your apartment or anything like that and it little, you know, fiery a uh, ash off your cigarette hits the paper, it can go up to, into flames. That's understandable, but... At the same time, eh, I mean, we all have, we all have paper stacks, you know, like we have an area where we put like important papers and stuff like that. And I kind of feel like that's, that part's crossing the line a little bit because I mean, we all have like filing cabinets or like a filing area where we keep bills and, you know, tax papers and stuff like that weird um and then number uh for empty bottles or cans okay i i understand they don't want cockroaches and ants and stuff like that in their apartment but if i don't feel like picking up a pop can or a cup from mcdonald's or a fast food place arby's anywhere i decide to go and i don't pick it up that night and I don't feel like picking it up till the very next day that should be my business I don't feel like that's the city's business to know whether or not I have a cup or a can sitting around but again I think they're looking probably for alcoholics that are um, leaving their beer cans around and, and people who drink pop and are lazy and just leave a bunch of cans all around and don't pick up after themselves but I take offense to that because people should be knowing not to do this shit and also I mean that that's that's kind of should be something that's my business okay number five cluttered or storage items around the apartment okay do you see this over here this is my daughter's room and my son's room. They have toys, okay? They have stuffed animals on their bed and stuff like that. What are they really considering clutter? Because, like, there's neat clutter that people have, but then there's, like, dirty clutter where, like, it, there's, like, a corner of, like, lots of nasty things and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm assuming they're thinking the nasty things, but... It's kind of hard to live in a tiny apartment with three kids and two adults and have every area of the room of that of your apartment be really like perfectly organized with no clutter. I mean, where are you supposed to fucking put everything? We have a lot of stuff in our garage. We used to own a mobile home. We used to own a house, so we have a lot of things, but we do organize our our home um okay and then number six the smoke alarm and co2 alarm i kind of understand because if you don't have the smoke alarm and you don't have the co2 alarm up and to par i can understand how that you can get a ticket for not having those working because if your apartment's on fire and there's not an alarm going off to alert other people they, you're, no one will know that there's a fire going in your home. Then they can't save the apartment and they can't save the people. Number one, they can't save the people. So I kind of get that one. Number seven, poor housekeeping. Again, I don't really see how that's any of the city's business. I, And I also really feel that people should be cleaning their apartments and their ho mobile homes and their houses in the first place. But it's it's offensive to me because I do that on a daily basis. So I just don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why. I don't understand really why they're, they're doing that. Because 
people should be cleaning. We shouldn't be little kids acting like we don't know how to clean a house. Uh, number eight, clogged furnace filter. Okay. I will say this. I understand how that that they want that to be our responsibility, but those things can kind of get pretty expensive. We spent f almost $40 on our furnace filter for this apartment, and every apartment I have fucking lived in, they have always been responsible to change the furnace filter. That has been their responsibility. So it's an absurd to me that we're having to change the furnace filter. That's something I feel they should do, especially when we're paying $800, $800 a month to live in an apartment. Okay. So, and then, uh, failure to report any plumbing or electrical issue as well. There is no issue, so I won't be having problems there. And then combustible items around the furnace or water heater. That's understandable because that's a safety hazard thing. So basically what I'm trying to say to you guys is I understand pretty much most of it, but then there's like some of it, like 20% of it, I don't understand. Like, why aren't you just coming in here and checking the the water heater, plumber, plumbing, and the, the CO2 carbon monoxide detector and the fire detectors and get the fuck out of my house? Why are you looking at what papers I have in my house, what cans, what pot cans I have in my house, what... Um, how dirty or clean my house is. Just look at the shit that you need to look at to make sure the apartment's up to par and passes um, apartment inspection codes, but leave everybody else's clean, like hygiene, home care alone. Um, I'm offended because I clean all the time. So let me show you guys the apartment. Sorry, my toddler's around. So here's my kids' top of their TV. They organize all their little toys and they have they have a little fish and they have a old council TV. In this corner over here is his clothes and he has them all folded. His bed is made. Yes, they do have posters hanging up. My daughter, sorry. Okay, so she has those pictures hanging up and she has her bed. She usually has her stuffed animals on there, but she's going to be going to bed soon, so she doesn't have them on there. The closet is just a normal closet and it has just clothes hanging up in there and folded and like nice toys in a tote. I'm going to take you guys to my room. So basically, here's the room. The room is nice and clean. Here's my room. A made bed. I have to take those jeans off of my fan, but my son's little toddler bed's right is right next to our bed. And see this crate? I've been having to have anxiety worrying if they're going to get mad about that crate. But it's it's all organized papers. It's records. Records for my record player. My necklaces. Hats. My, my vanity. Our TV. And I bet you they're going to try bitching about that mini refrigerator, which is funny. Because we're just using it for our TV to sit on. We're not, we don't actually use it at all. Um, posters. This, we're, all, we're taking that pile of clothes and putting it in my husband's car. They're just my son's clothes. That's all they are. But as you can see, I have everything organized up here. It's all just crystals. I have my tapestry of my curtains no posters no posters are near the register because <gasps> I knew that they were gonna probably get mad if the posters were close to the to the register so we moved them away yeah. 
more posters and a bulletin board. Now, we do have a pile of DVDs right here, but, I mean, what the fuck are we supposed to do with those? Hold on a second. Okay. I can't get that open. Wow. Hold on a second, you guys. Okay, so... See this? Clothes are all folded nicely. Folded nicely, folded nicely. Those are the top shelves in the closet. And here's more of my stuff. Now these are my son's birthday gifts. I'm not getting rid of those boxes because he's not supposed to know that they're here. We have a box full of his clothes because we can't afford one of those expensive totes. So that's our, that's our bedroom closet. But overall, here's a look at our room. You know, pretty much nice and clean. Here is our living room. There's our hallway. And here is our living room. So we keep a pretty clean home. Now, see those plants? I know those plants aren't supposed to be there. I will be moving them. I just put them there so I could clean. So, nice clean kitchen. We got our Halloween candy. No dishes. I was watering this plant earlier. Nice countertops. Like I said, I'm removing these plants because I know that's a fire hazard. I just have them up there for the right now while I'm cleaning. Nice countertops. All nice countertops and refrigerator. Now, right here, right here, is our laundry room. I'm going to be offended if they talk about the way I clean my house because I always keep it really, really clean. That's our laundry room. And here is our front door. Halloween, obviously. Obviously, those are Halloween decorations. Yeah. And there's our shoes right there. Oh, okay. And then here's what I'm a little concerned about. So that is obviously a fake spider web for Halloween. But this is my Hawkeye collection. And it is a little cluttery, but I mean, I'm not getting rid of my Hawkeye collection just to, you know, please them. This is my house and I should be able to organize things and have things how I want them. So I'm more offended about them coming in here, you know, and trying to act like they can tell me how I need to clean my house. So I just thought I would share that with you guys and let you know why I haven't been on here for like, usually I do daily videos, but I wanted to share with you guys like why we have, why I haven't been on here and why I haven't been able to do, to do videos. It's because I've been getting really bad news about friends, um, and then I 
you know, have been trying to organize things the best I can, living in an apartment, being, living w at, with a family of five, um, trying to get everything organized and clean. So, yes, not fun, not good. But anyways, let me know if you guys have ever heard of anything like this before. Um, and let me know how you felt about it. Um, my bathroom. I'll show you guys my bathroom in a second when I pick up what my son just did. Because my son just took a bath. So I have to pick up what he just messed up. So I can show you guys how we normally clean or keep our bathroom. So. Oasis, can you please get off the toilet? Yeah. Okay, so. Normally, um, this is how our bathroom looks. Yeah. See the mirror? It's just a regular looking bathroom. But we like to match, so my daughter likes mermaids and... I like turquoise and she likes turquoise too, so we keep everything kind of matching. But as you can see, we're really neat and tidy people. I even cleaned this um, filter thing, the fan up above. So, I don't know what really to do, you guys, except for, I mean, I did the best I could. If they find me for anything, it is what it is, I guess. But I think it's freaking weird. Uh, things have changed so much. I mean, when I was a teenager and I lived in an apartment, we I never had an, ev no landlord or city inspection was ever done on my apartment. I was basically left alone. So I just don't understand. I've just been really bothered by this whole situation. And then also for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I have OCD, um, and so this is making my OCD worse because I <laughs> I know people are going to be in here, like, looking, you know, so, uh, I don't know, pretty uh, overwhelming is the word, pretty overwhelming, but uh, let me know if this has happened to you guys before, like I said, and... Um, let me know like what you guys think, even if it hasn't happened to you guys before. And I will be on with another life topic.